All right, Shalom Akim, uh, first and foremost, only of all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakak Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, we will, and peace, love, and salutation to you, Akim, that's pushing His truth and truth and sincerity. Coming back at you once again. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to title this, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to try to title it the Scarf of the Week, all right, because. Hey, you still got scoffers, man. And, you know, all this prophecy going on and Jake is still scoffing, man. Especially those who know that they're Israelites. Those are the circumcision. So, um, I did this video maybe two years ago when this page, GMS Witness of Yahweh Why Yahweh Shai, was my backup page. Okay? This is like, this is actually my uh, second page, actually. But I did a video about um, uh, the the Lashawan Kodash being the pure language of Hebrew Israelites, not the Yiddish. So you got this guy saying, first of all, Yiddish and Hebrew are two different languages. Yes, Yiddish does use some Hebrew words, but they are different languages. For example, in Hebrew, the word for God is, <clears throat> let's see, it's... Uh, I don't know to pronounce that one right now, but it says God. While in Hebrew, the word for God is is Alahayim. You have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm gonna start off in this scripture right here, and um, Zephaniah chapter three, verse nine. For then will I turn to the people a pure language that they may all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. When you see an Israelite that has a name, Ben, in it, he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. First of all, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Yishriel, you got to watch out for these Yishriel guys, okay? As a matter of fact, let's get that, man, Genesis 1 and 1, because that was basically what I did the lesson on, all right? <clears throat> Any Israelite talking about Yishriel, Elohim, they don't know what they're talking about, man. They speak in Yiddish. And we can get that. Let's look up Yiddish right quick. Uh, Yiddish uh, Wikipedia. All right, let's get that first. <clears throat> it says Yiddish is a high German-derived language historically spoken by Ashkenazi Jews, Edomites, okay, Temanites, all right? Teman descended from Esau. So Temanites came up with Yiddish. Okay? Yiddish is garbage. All right, so for you Israelites using Yiddish, you're speaking pure garbage. You're speaking the language of your father, the devil. All right? So that's strike one against this scoffer, man. Let's go to Genesis 1 and 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. Now, people are going to look at that and be like, well, oh yeah, the Heavenly Father created heaven and earth, all right? Let's look at that word, God, uh, H430, Elohim, which says Elohim in the Yiddish. When you go to the, when you go, for the brothers and sisters, man, when you go to this blue letter, you're going to have this Syrian Hebrew, and you can convert that to the Paleo Hebrew. Okay, you can go to the uh, real HebrewIsraelites.com and get the uh, Paleo and the Assyrian Hebrew. But in the blue letter, you're going to see the Assyrian, <clears throat> and you're able to translate that to the Paleo. But at the bottom, it says transliteration. That's in Yiddish, okay? So it says uh, H430, all right? Now, how you pronounce that is Alahayim, okay? It's plural. It means rulers, judges, divine ones, angels, gods. It says plural intensive. It says works or special possessions of God, God-like ones, okay? So the angels, along with Yahweh Shai, were the ones who created heaven and earth. Let's get Hebrews uh, 1. <clears throat> and 
the KJV. But like I said, watch out for these uh, Yiddish guys, man. These Yiddish Israelites who Yisrael and Yehuda, Yehuda and hey, man, the pure language is the Paleo Hebrew, not no, not something that Teeman came up with, man. All right. All right, let's go to uh, Hebrews. Uh, yeah, one and one. It says, The Most High, who at sundry times and diverse manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets, having these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he, whom he have appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Let me read that again. Verse 1, The Most High, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets, have in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he have appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. So Yahweh Shai, going back to... Uh, <clears throat> Going back to Genesis 21, Yahweh Shai along with the angels, all right, the, the Lord will not be us, the first fruits, the 144,000, created the heavens and the earth, all right, just for some uh, clarification, because this ain't about this scoffer, man, it's about edification, but I'm going to get on this scoffer any damn ways, all right, so going back to uh, Genesis 21, the Most High appointed Yahweh Shai to create the heavens and earth, and Yahweh Shai brought along the 144,000 to create the heavens and earth, the Alahayim. Okay? Now, just for the sake of edification, when you go to uh, Genesis, the uh, I believe it's the second chapter, Genesis 2 and 4, that's when you'll start to see the Lord God, Genesis 2 and 4. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord, Yahweh, okay, made the heavens and the earth. Now, let's get that word Yahweh because, hey, these Yiddish Hebrew Israelites, I'm going to call them, will have you going off. Now, the word there is, <clears throat> G, oh, excuse me, is H3068. All right, let's go to that. Now, in the Yiddish, it says Jehovah, okay? That's where these people translate. They put the J in there and put Jehovah. That's where you get those Jehovah's Witnesses from. You know, they'll, they'll read you Psalms 83, 83 and 13 and be like, see, that's the name of God. No, <laughs> this, 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 the, these scriptures come in mystery, man. That's why this guy... Daniel ben Yisrael can't get it because it, even the Paleo Hebrew it's a mystery, man. All right. <clears throat> now, now H H thirty sixty eight. It's Yahweh. When you take the Assyrian that's at the top and you convert into the Paleo because we went into the Assyrian captivity, okay. You'll get Yahweh, okay, because there's no. Um, there's no E's and V's in the Paleo Hebrew, okay? Just like there's no E's. So Ben Israel, his name should be Ban Yasha Allah. His name should be Daniel Allah, Ban Yasha Allah, not Daniel Ben Israel, man. All right? So this guy surely don't know what the hell he's talking about. And since we're on the topic of uh, scoffers, all right, and doing a little correction here. Because you go to this guy's videos too, man. That's why I put this comment and said, okay, Mr. Esau is not the white man. You go to this buffoon's page, and he has videos about Esau is not the so-called white man. So I guess when Esau pulls you out of your home during the HR 6666, you're going to find out the white man is the devil. And he's Esau Edom. Okay, you're going to find out the hard way. And then I put, I, 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 this is my comment right here for my backup page, GMS Witness. Of Yahweh while Yahweh Shai uh, 144. I said all these prophecies going on. And you still scoffing. So this is uh, Proverbs 19 and 29. 
judgments are prepared for scorners and stripes for the back of fools. So when you get pulled out of your house, all right, <clears throat> or you starve to death, or you, your children get separated from you, or you get shot down execution style, all you scoffers are going to remember all that scoffing that you did, and the Lord is going to place judgment on you, man. All right? This is Matthew uh, 12. <clears throat> Matthew 12 and 36. All right. Matthew 12 and 36. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Verse 37. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. You scoffers are condemning yourselves, man. All right. And there was a video that just came out about members of the IOIC going up to uh, various other camps and scoffing, man. So it could be somebody of another uh, camp putting up these false videos. All right, somebody that believes, somebody that, believes that uh, Esau is a so-called white man, they could just put up, be putting up these videos to be scoffing, all right? A lot of these scoffers, man, could be in these other camps, man, all right? I ain't saying no names. I don't know that definitely for sure, but there was a video that came out of this ex-IOIC member and he was a chief scoffer, and he 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 leaked out all the details, man. All right. So you scoffers got a lot of judgment coming, man. All right. Second Peter three and um, <clears throat> one. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stir up your mind, your pure minds, by way of remembrance, that you may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets. And of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Verse 3, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts. Let's look up that word scoffers. All right. Just a basic definition. Not, not scoofers, scoffers. Right, scoffers definition. Uh, it says someone who jeers or mocks or treats something with contempt or calls out in derision. Alright. It says synonyms. It says a, a flouter, a jeerer, a mocker. It says type of disagreeable person, unpleasant person. You you scoffers are unpleasant, man. Get the hell out of my sight, all right? Get the hell out of brother's sights, man. It's, there's still scoffers and mockers out here, man. All these prophecies going on. This man wants to put this Maxine in you. And you still in the comment board scoffing, talking about you don't know what you're talking about. When your name is Daniel Ben Yishrio, all right? So I, then pretty much the point has been made, man. All right, you scoffers, man, you got a lot of judgment coming. And we have to come up and clean up and do your dirty work because obviously you don't know what the hell you're talking about, man. So with that, shalom.